I have to you can say uh, pass it to my algorithm so here I'll be I'm importing my you can say clustering algorithm so from sklr uh, dot neighbor here I'll be using this uh, nearest neighbor algorithm so if you don't know nearest neighbor algorithm is a you can say clustering algorithm uh, so you can use that like uh, it kinds of k means you can say okay uh, you can learn about that there are lots of youtube tutorials on that okay so you can refer that but here i'm not you can say uh, discussing that so nearest neighbor is a clustering algorithm i'll be using and let's define an object model and here i have to pass my pass my nearest neighbor algorithm and here i have to define the algorithm which algorithm i'm gonna use here so i'll go uh, rhythm ways uh, I'm gonna use this uh, brute so brute is a algorithm okay uh, in this clustering you can say uh, uh, in this clustering algorithm okay so at the end like it will use the brute technique okay for identifying the you can say cluster so I have created my object now what I will do I will fit my data so model dot fit here I will pass my book uh, sparse because I'm not gonna pass this uh, book uh, you can say book private because it is containing zero I'm, I want to pass without zero okay so that's why book is sparse I'm gonna pass and if I hit enter so it got trained okay now I want to check that so for that I what I will do I will create Two variables one is distance and one is suggestion uh, so if you don't know actually this uh, algorithm returns uh, two you can say values one is distance and one is the suggestion okay that means the index of this uh, you can say uh, values okay so model and there is a you can say function called k neighbor k neighbor and if you pass your uh, let's pass you can say our mm, let's pass a you can say entire uh, information like uh, I want to suppose I want to pass you can say um, uh, you can say an entry from here so what I will do I will pass this entire okay uh, you can say rows so for that what I will do I will just write uh, book pirate dot I lock and uh, I will pass suppose uh, Mm, this 237 index and the entire columns okay I want to pass and the values of that also I have to reshape it uh, by one minus one because uh, I have a uh, I want to pass it you can say as uh, you can say um, one by uh, 888 okay uh, that's how I want to pass uh, that would be our shape so that's why I am reshaping that and uh, also I have to pass in neighbors in neighbors that means how many you can say uh, uh, how how many number of like value you want to get as output okay uh, it will suggest you okay so I want you can say six uh, you can say uh, books as of now so that's why I am done this you can see six if I run that and now if I show you mm, the distances so see this is the distances uh, so it is uh, zero because it is calculating the distance uh, uh, with the same one okay that means it is uh, trying to calculate the distance uh, uh, with itself okay that's why it is zero and thus you can say this is the another distance it is calculating uh, you can say it is similar uh, with this movie okay so these are some you can say six movies it is re uh, six uh, books it is recommending uh, now let's see the indexes okay so what are the movie it is like recommending so if i call the suggestion uh, so see uh, these are some indexes okay it is uh, you can say giving now if i want to see the you can say uh, name of this book so what i will do so let's uh, perform a for loop for i in range and this len of suggestion 
and here what I'm going to do I'm going to print my you can say uh, movie name so that's why I will be calling my pirate book pirate okay because in the book pirate you can see uh, there is all the title okay so and I have this indexes of the title so I'll just pass this index okay then if I pass that so I will get my you can say uh, index uh, you can say title okay so for that what I will do I will just call index and here I will just pass my suggestion and here I because it will uh, uh, iterate uh, one by one okay now if I run that so see uh, I'm getting all the recommendation uh, because if you see uh, here I have passed this uh, 237 actually this is uh, the index of the Harry Potter books okay Harry Potter the Chamber of Secrets and uh, I have passed that and it is recommending the Harry Potter related books okay so yes it is performing good you want to see uh, you can say so you can also see another um, books title also so for that just you have to write uh, book index and suppose if you pass three so it will tell you this is the you can say title uh, that's how you can like identify what are the books and you can pass it okay now i will be uh, keeping my books name because it will help me to create my web application okay so all the books name like uh, i'll be storing in a variable so that's how i'll calling book pirate and here all the index okay i'll be storing because if I run that, so what it will return, just see, uh, it will return all the, you can say, net title, okay, that means book title. So here, if I show you, see, when I, when I, I was clicking on that, okay, so it was showing all the books, you can say, uh, name, okay. So for, for creating that, I want this information, okay, so that's why I'll be storing and I, I'll be saving in a pickle format, okay, later on. So here, uh, I am just doing that. So here I am saving all the indexes in my book uh, underscore name variable. So yes, almost all the steps like I have done. Now what I need to do, I have to just save those models, okay? Uh, because after that we will be creating our web application. So I will be importing pickle, import pickle, and here pickle dot dump and uh, first of all i want to save my model uh, because uh, the clustering model i have created i will save that so i will open a folder called artifacts inside the artifacts i want to save it as a you can say model dot pickle and i want to specify the right binary mode because i want to write it And here also I'll be saving uh, this book names, okay? Uh, because book names I need that I have uh, already stored uh, here, okay? You can see uh, this book names, okay? So I'll be also you can say utilizing that. So let's name it book names. Similar wise. I'll be also saving the final ratings okay that means our uh, entire data okay uh, this entire data I will be saving because uh, I want this URL okay uh, for rendering those poster okay so that's why I will be also saving so let's save here final ratings now also save our dumps let me copy that mm, our book pirate okay this book pirate because uh, whenever you can say I'm uh, I will be comparing uh, you can say uh, this uh, name okay whenever I will comparing this index uh, with this you can say poster index okay so at that time I will need this you can see information this book pirate because this is the actual because uh, these are the actual indexes okay i need but if you see here uh, 
these are not you can say actual indexes okay because uh, at the end like i have get rid of a lots of information from here okay uh, so that's why this is uh, and you can see here all the information you can say repeatedly repetitively would be here but here you can see all the unix value should be here okay so that's why uh, i need this information also and i need this information also so if i have this this is you can say this uh, uh, index information okay uh, that means this title so i can figure out here okay uh, uh, by comparing the title and i will be fetching the image url okay so this that would be our entire process so for that like let's uh, save our book five it and i will be saving it to the book 5 it here uh, so almost i think all done but here i have to create the artifacts here okay because artifacts folder it is not there so let's uh, create the artifacts new artifacts and now if i go to my code and if i run that okay so it is showing some kinds of error okay because here i have given dumps okay that should be dump now if i open my this uh, project folder now you can see uh, all the you can say embeddings have been saved here okay uh, so now i think uh, i have done okay mm, i've done our analysis and i have generated the model also and now in the next pro, uh, stages okay i'll be creating the web application uh but before uh, starting creating our web application i just want to show you the recommendation system here okay uh, recommendation process here so how like uh, it is recommending okay so we are gonna test here so for that just uh, i will create a function here okay so called uh, recommend recommend underscore book okay uh, this is the function and it will take a book name uh, from the user and after taking the book name it will identify the book id from our data you can say say it okay uh, so let's call it book underscore id so it will store here and i will be finding with the n numpy so in the numpy there would be function called a where so np dot where uh, this uh, in this book private okay in this book private uh, you can say uh, uh, matrix okay it will identify the book title okay so if i show you so this is our uh, book private so if i pass any of the index okay uh, so what this uh, np dot where will do it will try to find out that index okay with respect to the name okay so here i'm trying to do that so just write it index uh, equal equal uh, book name so if it is like uh, true and here i have i've just i just want to take the name okay uh, so that's why i just want to you can say take the id so that's why uh, it will return a list so i'll be you can say uh, just you can say collecting the information by using the zero okay uh, because i i just wa uh, want the first information from here okay uh, so so if i show you what i'm trying to do here so just let me copy and if i paste it over here and instead of book name let's say i'm gonna give a book here let's do in chance so if i give it here and if i hit enter so you will see it will give me an array okay so that means that is this is the index of this book okay now if i want to fetch this two so what i will do i will just write zero so it will give me that and if i write it again zero so it will give me the two okay so that is how i'm storing here okay so i think you got that now after getting the index uh, i will do the same things what i was trying to do here uh, this is the code i will be copying and i'll paste it over here and it's instead of this uh, 237 i will be giving the book id and all the information like would be the same and now i'll be performing a for loop for i in range len of suggestion 
so the same code like I have uh, written here okay I'm just performing the same code and after you can say getting the range I'll be figuring out the you can say books indexes okay that means our books name so book private here index and I'll be passing the suggestion I so it will give me all the books name okay now I have to also you can say that would be a list okay so I have to also iterate through the list so J in uh, books and I want to paste it one by one so that's why I'll be doing that so print J so if I run that and now let's define a book name here book underscore name and let me give a movie here suppose this is the movie I want to give so uh, this is the books I want to give and now let's call our function uh, recommend book here pass the book name and now if I hit enter so you'll be seeing uh, it is recommending the books okay uh, it is also giving the you can say same book okay because it is also trying to calculate uh, uh, itself okay so that's why but uh, when I will be you can say creating our applications I'll be ignoring that also okay so yes it is working and let's check with another books suppose I want to give um, let me figure out this uh, Harry Potter so I think 237 that should be Harry Potter so it is also there okay uh, if you want to identify if you keep that so yeah see this is the name let me copy and paste it over here if I hit enter see it is uh, recommending so yes I can say it is working good uh, now I will use the same function okay uh, same some of the code then I'll be uh, implementing the web application so let's get started